Here we have a data sample and we're asked to find the 60th percentile for this sample data. Following the steps in the procedure, we first need to arrange the data in order from lowest to highest. That's also called arranging it in ascending order. In the TI-83, I've gone to list 1 and input the data, being very careful to put in the proper values. And now going to the Stat button, I'm going to select number 2, which says to sort in ascending order. And going to the yellow button, we'll choose the yellow L1 and click Enter. And that is done. Now if we go back to the Stat Enter key, we see our data is arranged in order. We see that there are 10 values because the next value is in list 1, the entry number 11, which is blank. So therefore there are 10 entries in list 1. And one of the things that they make reference to in the procedure is the total number of values, which will be 10. The percentile that we're being asked for is the 60th percentile. So we'll put those numbers into our formula. That will be 10 number of values times 60, the percentile, divided by 100. And when you do that math, we can do it on the TI-83. So to do that, we'll go to the second quit home screen, which I can clear, and take 10 times 60 divided by 100. Sure enough, that's equal to 6. The procedure then says, if C is not a whole number, then round up to the next whole number, and starting at the lowest value, count over the number that corresponds to the rounded up value. So in other words, if we had gotten 6.2, we'd go up to 7, and then count the seventh entry in the ascending order. So we'll go back to the stat, enter, and then we would count up to the seventh value. So in other words, here where we have L1, we'd look at L1, the seventh entry. However, in our case, C is a whole number, and it instructs us to go to the value halfway between the C value and the C plus 1 value. Now in our case, we have the value C equal to 6. So the C plus 1 value would be 7. Therefore, we'll go up to the 6th value. Here we are at the 6th value. The 7th value is 12. So we will look at the number that is the average of 10 and 12, which is 11. So therefore, for the data set that we see here, the 60th percentile is the number 11.